Hey everybody, this is Abhay. In this video, we are going to solve a problem called convert sorted list to binary search tree. In this question, we will be given a sorted list. Here is our sorted list that is minus 10, minus 3, 0, 5, and 7. And we have to construct a binary search tree out of it. So as you can see, here is our binary search tree out of this linked list 0, minus 3, minus 10, 9, and 5. Right? So, how we are going to do this? Uh, we have done a similar question before that was uh, converting a sorted array into a binary search tree. The concept is going to be the similar in this one also. So, we will pick the middle element of the list and make it as a root. So 0 is our root and we have left and right subtree. So we will divide this one and this one into two parts. And we know the right one will be greater than our middle and the left one will be smaller than our middle because it is a sorted uh, list. And also same in the binary search tree where the right subtree is greater than the root and left subtree is smaller than the root right so here is our zero and we have left and right subtree right now here we will store minus 10 and minus 3 and the right side we will store 5 and 9 right so now here we have to decide what is going to be our root for the left subtree because the middle of minus 10 and minus 3 it could be anything it could be either minus 10 or minus 3 let's say we will pick minus 10 as our root so minus 10 is our root so minus 3 will lie right side because minus 3 is greater among 5 and 9 let's uh, uh, put 9 as our middle element and 5 will go to the left side right this is our binary search tree right so let's take another example also. Let's take similar example. We have a minus, uh, let's say 12. Then we have minus 10. Then we have minus 3, 0. Then we have 5. Then we have 9. Now 10. Now let's create binary search tree out of this list. This is list. This is not array, right? So middle element is 0. We will find the middle element. So here is our middle element. Now left subtree and right subtree. Right subtree has 5, 9, 10, and left subtree have minus 12, minus 10, and minus 3. Okay, so two parts, it is divided in two parts, right? Up to here. Now we will again recursively check for the middle of left and right. So for the left side, the middle is minus 10, so we will make minus 10 as the root minus 10 is our root so greater than the root value is a minus 3 which will go to the right side then minus 12 which is smaller than minus 10 right now among 5 9 and 10 9 is going to be the root because it is the middle element 9 is our root and 10 go right side and 5 go left side so this is how we construct the uh, binary search tree out of either a linked list or an array right so the part so the tricky part for this question is that we have to find the middle element of the linked list that was the only tricky part in the this our question and everything is same as we have done earlier so we have list minus 10 minus 3 then we have 0 then we have 5 then we have 9 so earlier we have discussed a fast and slow pointer method which was we will put two pointers at the head of the linked list the one will be fast and other will be slow so fast will traverse two nodes per traversal and slow will traverse one node per traversal right so we will start our traversing till we got till the uh, fast pointer is at the last of our linked list so after first traversal this will be the position not yes this will be the position of our fast traversal fast pointer and this will be the position of 
slow one again after second traversal this will be the our position of fast one and this is going to be the position of slow one right this is slow so after uh, the fast pointer reaches to the end of the linked list the position of the slow pointer this is slow pointer will be the middle element so this is going to be the middle of our linked list so we will make this as the root of our you know binary search tree so this is the root now we will similarly use a recursion and will find the middle element of the left side of the linked list and similarly to the right side of the linked list right so this was our algorithm now let's solve the problem okay we will start with checking the base cases that is if head is null in that case we will simply return null or if the list has only head so in that case head dot next will be null and we will and we will return a tree with only one node return new tree node and we will pass uh, the value of the head that is head dot well right now let's define some nodes for our pointers so list node slow set to head of the list and then we have list node fast also set to the head then we have a uh, mid which is slow which will be at the position of slow right now while fast is not equal to null this is for regular traversal in the linked list fast dot next is not equal null in that case so mid will be set to slow initially then uh, fast will move twice as fast as slow fast dot next dot next then we have slow equal slow dot next this is the regular traversal and the fast one will be twice as fast as slow right now since we are out of the loop that means we found our middle uh, middle element of the linked list and we will set it to the and we will create a new node from that you know element so uh, we will create a new node that is tree node node is new tree node and we will pass slow dot val because slow is the middle part of the linked list right now we will set middle to the null because uh, because it will start repeating the value if we don't set middle to the null right now here we recursively call the function to make the left and right subtree so node dot left will be we will copy this one and we will pass uh, since this is left side of the root so we will simply pass pass head because head will be the same and if it is the right side then in this case we will pass slow dot next right because we are we have to check to the right half of the linked list and that right half starts from one next to the slow so now return our node okay we uh, got an error here and this says memory limit exceeded okay let's see where we had done mistake okay we got our error and here it is we have to set the next of mid to null right now let's run this one okay as you can see our solution is accepted now let's submit okay as you can see uh, we have successfully submitted our problem so that's it for this video if you enjoyed the video hit the like button and hit dislike if you didn't and subscribe to the channel for more coding interview problems see you in the next video